What's up guys? Haven't made a video in a while, but uh, finally have something worthwhile to make a video on. I decided to get myself a new computer case. I've been using been using that one for quite some time now. So it's now it's time to open this up. So I'm at least gonna shut the camera off and actually I can might I might be able to do this with the camera on. I just don't want to make a five minute video of me struggling to open a box one handed. <laughs> that never makes for a good video. <clears throat> Oop. There we go. Got some tape stuck to it. Okay, we're met with another box just like I expected. So, let's get it out of there. Alright, well this is what it is. It's a Dark Flash Phantom. And there's some of the little, whatchamacallit, bragging things they put on the package. And there is a kitten and a computer case. She's very curious. Alright, Misty, you gotta move. I don't want to crush you with the computer case. Come on. There you go. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Haha. <laughs> This is up. I have to bring it towards myself here. Okay. Okay. All right. I need to take turn the camera off again to get that out of there. All right, we got it all unboxed now. It's got uh, glass on this side. It's got glass in the front, along with four RGB fans. Then it has two RGB fans back here as well. I don't usually see cases with two 120s in the back like that. It's kind of hard to see through here, but you've got your motherboard cut out. Huge, so I mean, you can put any cool you want, guaranteed. Plenty of holes for cable management. The only thing I don't really like about it, but I decided to just deal with it, I'll probably just have to take the sticker of my uh, RM1000 Corsair PSU off, because it's going to look really silly having a window showing this ugly green thing that just says RM1000, you know? But, and then we got a magnetic dust filter up top. We've got our RGB control button, USB 3.0, headphone and microphone jack, two normal USB 2.0, Reset button, power button. And then on the other side, it's actually tempered glass too. So I'm going to have to do an absolutely amazing job of cable managing this to make it look good. But, should be fun. I kind of cannot wait to get building in this case, so I'm going to do that now. And expect a video on that for sure. But alright, till the next video, peace out guys. What's up guys? Well, I decided to start the upgrading process of transporting this motherboard into that case, so figured I'd do a little documentation while I do it. Obviously I can't hold the camera the whole time and do stuff, but I figured I could at least show the progress. So far we've got the CPU block off, and I right now I'm working on taking the front screws out. All right, kinda had to stop filming during the building process. Ran into a bunch of little problems here and there, nothing too crazy, but here it is all done. I like that, those are pretty cool. And I have lots of settings, obviously there's a little there's a button up here to control them, and they also give you a remote. And then that remote's from my little lights that are behind the monitor under there. You probably can't see them because it's too too bright outside right now, but yeah, it's nice to have some like nice nightlight. But here's the interior. It's kind of hard to see. I'm just gonna turn this off for a second. There we go. It's hard to see with all the reflections. It kind of comes with the whole 
The last side panel thing, though. I really wished I could have made it so the little pipes from my EK Predator don't cover up the the light back there for the R for the uh, Oris RGB or whatever. Or no, what is it? Asus. Aura? Yeah, it's Aura. Aurora is my video card. Oris. That's probably why I was saying that. Anyway, <clears throat> and then we've got some uh, super loose RAM. Doesn't do any RGB. It just flashes white, but that's good enough for me. Our guy got enough RGB in here. We got. The video card that's RGB, we've got uh, a RGB strip there, and an RGB strip coming down the side here too, which stops right about down there. I kind of thinking about moving them all around just because this is such tinted glass, but I'm not 100% sure I'm going to do that yet. But turn that back on. But also got a different mouse accidentally broke my Zowie, so I'm trying this one out, and this mouse is excellent. I might just make this my land mouse and go buy that $150 version of this that actually has RGB to go along with my keyboard, but again, not 100% sure on that either. But all I can say is, you don't got to worry about wireless mouse anymore. I do better with that mouse than I do what did with my Zowie. Hey you, we've got a kitty friend. What you doing, Misty? You know you're not supposed to be up here. Come on. Come on, get off, go on. You're a silly kitty, yes. <laughs> he silliness. Anyway, back to the computer. So here's So here's temps and stuff. I haven't been doing too much today, but. I run mine at, uh, I run my 2700X at 4.2 gigahertz R core. Mine didn't quite do the 4.3 unless I put like 1.5 volts in it. And there's no way in hell I'm doing 1.5 volts for a 24 seven overclock. Uh, this one I've got like at 1.4. 420 I think and that's about as far as I want to go for 24 7 use it sometimes pops up to like uh, 1.545 volts under heavy load but or not under heavy load but just kind of randomly but I don't think that'll be any problem I got good cooling anyway do a little bit more things uh Again, there's all the uh, the power button, reset button, hard drive lights, the USB, and all that stuff. And then on this side, it's also glass. I did an okay job at cable management. They didn't really give me a lot of room between the glass and the side. But there are a plethora of little holes to hide wires and stuff to come out into the front. But... Anyway, let's go over the specs of this thing, and then we'll end this video. Sorry, I use a S9 Plus as my main camera for this channel, so it just gave me the pretty much 30 seconds till I was at my 5 minute limit or whatever. I think that this phone just gets way too hot if you do constant uh, 4K 60fps, but happy it can do it. Anyway, before I run into my time limit again here, uh, for a CPU, got a 2700X at 4.2 gigahertz, are all core, 100% rock stable. We've got 16 gigs of DDR4, 3000 megahertz super loose, running at its correct XMP timings, or DOP, or DCP, or something like that for AMD. Anyway, then we've got an EK Predator cooling the 2700X. It's a 240 millimeter all-in-one from EK. Then we've got a Gigabyte Aorus 1080 Ti Water Force. It has a little all-in-one that's hooked up to it. It uh, I got it clocked up to 2075 megahertz. I can't really remember what the memory is. My memory honestly wasn't very impressive on it. I don't think I got much out of my uh, 1080 Ti's memory. Kind of lost the kind of lottery on the memory, but eh, the core at least is out of this world almost 2100 that was my goal so close enough 
anyway, then for a uh, storage or main OS drive, I've got a, uh, you can't see it, but there's a M.2 Samsung drive in there, 512 gigabytes. It's a 9, 960 Pro. Then we've got underneath down there, we've got a one terabyte Western Digital Black for games and then a four terabyte Enterprise drive for games, both 7200 RPM. And then, let's see, we got anything else to really mention? Oh yeah, power supply. I've got a Corsair RM1000 gold rated power supply. And then over here, we've got a 32 or 34 inch ultra wide curved monitor from Crossover. We've got Sony satellite speakers here. And then we've got the, then we've got the amp and whatnot under there with donuts and a sub. So I think that's about it. I'm kind of thinking about getting some different cable extensions though. The whole white and black doesn't exactly go with this anymore. Doesn't necessarily look bad, but I might go get some black cable sleeves. We'll see. And also maybe some more RGB strips to complete the whole look. But anyway, sorry I couldn't uh, make a more in-depth build log of this thing, but it was just being annoying at certain points. But if you can get this case for 100 bucks like I did on uh, Newegg, I'd say it's worth it. For 160 to 200 I think you might have some better options out there. But for 100 bucks best case I've ever gotten for 100 bucks that's for sure. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Until the next video, peace out.